Hi guys, welcome to my uh, channel and welcome to another video. So let's get started uh, with our series talking about uh, Windows Form. So first of all, you guys can see that I have Visual Studio open up. We're going to click on New Project, as you guys can see here. Uh, you can you can come here to File, New Project, or you can just uh, hold Control Shift N to create a new application. So you guys can see we have different types of applications here. We're gonna select Windows Forms application. We're gonna give a name. Let's say let's just keep Windows uh, Windows Forms application one. Let's click OK. Uh, let's see what you're gonna show up. We're gonna see in a, a the Visual Studio will show our, uh, show us the, the 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 font, the source code, and the the designer. Okay, the design. So you guys can see this is the design. This is our how our application will look like when you run it. Run it. So if you do, if we double click it, we're gonna see the source code to this uh, specific application. Let's uh, wait a little bit. So let's click in tools options. I want a text editor. I want to click in C sharp. Let me see here. Oh, fonts and colors. I'm gonna increase this font to 16 so you can see more easily so this is our source code so let's come back to here uh, you guys can see the interface I'm going to talk briefly about the interface so this is our uh, designer you guys can see here the design here is a solution explorer it's explorer you can bring this uh, over here over here I usually I use, use the default settings which is over here uh, here we have the toolbox, which has lots of components. In today's video, we're going to talk specifically about the button. So let's click on button and uh, drag and drop into the form uh, this way. So you guys can see we have this button here. That's positioned somewhere over here, you guys can see. So this is our application now. So to run this, you guys can uh, press uh, F5 or Function 5. So you guys can click this Play button over there. And if I drag the application, this is the actual output of the application, okay? So you guys can see, pretty simple. Let's just um, make some modifications here. There are a lot of things that you guys can need to pay attention, but the most important thing here is to Let's say I have a button here, so I want to do something when I press the, this button. So to do this, we need to add some code. So to, in order to do that, we need to double click this button. So we've come back to our source code. So you guys can see we have this function called private void button one uh, underline click object sender of it args e. Okay, so this function actually is called whenever we press that button. To prove that, I'm going to put a uh, message here. Let's type message box dot show um, button one. Button one was pressed. Something like that was pressed. Okay, so let's run again. So you guys will see that if I press this, it shows this message. Um, telling me that the button one was pressed. So this is just a very simple uh, example. We're going to uh, talk about this later. So I guess can by now have a some notion on how to use a button to make a simple application. So thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys in the next video.